Now we are going to go through chemical properties of alkanes. Now I draw two bubbles, means that there are two main reactions. First reaction comes out from this word called combustion. Now what exactly is combustion? Meaning when you heat them and when they react with oxygen, you will always have two products, carbon dioxide and water. When alkane undergo combustion, they will always produce carbon dioxide and water. In fact, for combustion, whether your alkanes, alkenes, alcohol or carboxylic acid, as long as you are organic, all of them will go through this process called what? Combustion. And they will always, always have two products. Which are the two products? Carbon dioxide and water. And your job is very easy just to balance the equation. Isn't that simple? Okay, I'm going to draw a good box uh -huh. to contain this. Now, what is the next one? Well, under alkanes, they will go through this process called substitution. Substitution is like in math, okay? When you do simultaneous equation, you like to substitute x to y. Same thing, they also substitute. But substitute with this group called halogen. Okay, let me rewrite again. Halogen, okay. So I'm going to draw a container to contain this. Okay, now I'm going to test you. Uh. Tell me halogen is in which group of the periodic table? Which group? Quick, tell me. Yes, if you say group 7, well done. So, the alkanes will go through this process of substitution with halogen, which is group 7. And one of the conditions required is none other than UV light. Got light, got reaction. No light, no reaction. So, only two basic reactions. For alkane, they will go through combustion. And this combustion, you must bear in mind, whatever homologous series you are, you will go through combustion. And the product is always carbon dioxide and water. But for alkanes, they will go through this process called substitution. And only with halogen and UV light is required. Did you get that?